Hi, I'm Jill Wignall. I'm teaching the slow stitch sew along. This week we are going to learn how to do French knot. French knot is a lovely little decorative stitch that's kind of like a visible knot on your embroidery and I like to use it to add detail to the pictures that I embroider and I'll look forward to seeing how you use it and some of the lovely ideas that you come up with. I'm starting off with an unsplit embroidery thread or floss so when you split it there are six strands inside the thread and so I might say use three strands or use two strands but here I haven't split it and I'm going to use six and the reason I'm doing that is so that you have more chance of seeing the knot the French knot that we're doing and uh, be able to follow along the instructions so I'm going to come up until my knot hits the back and I'm using my finger to just make sure that my knot is not in the way when I come down. I'm going to wrap the thread around the needle. So I take my needle, I place it near where I came up, I wrap the thread around once. You can actually do this two or three times but we'll just try it once to start with. And then I go down very close to where I came up. I hold the thread. And pull down. And that is a French knot. Hold your thread out of the way. Wrap it around the needle. And then bring your needle point across to near where you came up. You can see just there that it's near where I came up. Pull down, holding the thread out of the way and down. That is a good French knot. Come up, hold the needle with one hand and the thread with the other, wrap around and then go down. By holding the thread with your other hand, you're keeping it out of the way and it gives you more control. Hold it, the thread, wrap around your needle and go down. I'm just going to show how to wrap it around a couple of times rather than just once to create a bigger knot. So you can do it one, two, three, and then still going down near where you came up, still keeping the thread um, fairly tight but not so tight that it makes it difficult to go through. And then if the needle is difficult to go through like it is here, just let it be looser and then it will come through. There we go and you can see that that knot is bigger than the other ones. So I'll do it again just to show you one more time. One, two, three, put it through and see the way I'm letting it be fairly loose, not too much pressure on it to make it tight. Well, this one's a tricky one. There we go. And then we've got the knot. And that's how to do French knot. And to finish it off on the back, you can just do a little knot. So I did that very quickly without explaining, but you can go around and then pull your thread through the hoop of thread and then pull it so that your loop stays near the bottom of the thread, near the fabric and then use your fingers to keep it in place as you pull it. And then I just pull it tight with the scissors and then snip.